Hello, I'm right. Hello, I'm left. Today we're talking about the fourth element, beryllium. Beryllium is the second metal, just after lithium. Its real relative atomic mass is about 9.0128, and its density is nearly two times of that of water. It is dark gray and will form an oxide layer in the air. Beryllium is a really toxic metal. Only 0.000002 grams of beryllium can kill you. Now I will never eat this. Ha! Huh. I even cannot buy this to eat. <laughs> you probably know nearly all of the group 2 metals react with water. But why it's nearly? That's because beryllium doesn't react with both cool and warm water. In 1798, Louis Nicholas Rockling found two new metal salts in burial, a mineral containing silicates, which have many kinds such as emerald and sapphire. One of them is aluminum salt, one is beryllium salt. The taste is a beryllium salt. What? Chemists used to taste the chemicals until they found that some chemicals are poisonous, just as beryllium. Huh. It was sweet, and he named it glucinium. Yeah, glucinium. Very sweet. All French people use this word. Glucinium! Glucinium! But others use the name beryllium. Beryllium! Beryllium! Later in 1957, French people agreed to use the name Brillium, and that name was printed on the periodic table. Nowadays, we react the Brillium fluoride from burial and magnesium to get Brillium. Brillium is not used in very common uses, such as maybe these things, my bottles, or laptop, or paper. <laughs> But it has many technological uses. For example, in the James Webb Telescope, which is um, maybe later it will be in the space, beryllium is used. Because beryllium nearly doesn't absorb X rays, it is used to make X ray windows that X ray can pass through. Some special helicopters. Maybe made of beryllium alloys. In nuclear weapons and nuclear reactors, beryllium is used to reflect neutrons. And the neutrons won't escape. Neutrons are super important for nuclear fusion and fission. If lots of neutrons escape from the reactor, the fission or fusion cannot work properly. In the old stars, which are much, much older than the sun, the helium inside starts hitting each other. Very unstable beryllium egg forms and quickly decays. But if the helium hits the beryllium before it decays, stable carbon will form. Don't worry about this, it will happen about Six billion years later, and at that time, humans may have traveled to other planets outside of the solar system, so maybe it will never be a problem for us. That's all for today. See you next time. Don't forget to subscribe.